Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Talking with Polite about teaching abroad. In my two previous videos, I talked about the qualifications that you need for you to apply for a teaching job in China and the websites that you need also to apply for teaching jobs in China. In this episode, we are going to talk about salary ranges. A lot of you guys have been asking me, Polite, what's your salary? It's a little bit confidential, I'm not going to tell you. But anyway, today I'm going to talk about salaries in uh salaries for teachers salary ranges for teachers in general i'm gonna talk i'm gonna divulge my salary but i'll speak in general like there are certain aspects that determines the salary for a teacher in china it's just not like what we do in zimbabwe we know all the teachers they can get same salary has it it is determined by four aspects the first thing that determines your salary is if you are, whether you are a native or not. Then the second one is your qualifications. Then the third one is your experience. Then the fourth one is the ability to negotiate. Even if you are a native or non-native, if you have a good ability to negotiate for a salary, trust me, you can get more. All right, so let's dive into the first one. The first one is by native, I mean the people with English as a mother language, so they are considered native. Nonetheless, South Africa is one country in africa that is considered as a native speaking country so if you are from south africa you are lucky enough you can... for native speakers who lives in big cities like beijing shanghai shenzhen guangzhou uh, hangzhou all those big cities their salary range is twenty-five thousand to thirty-five thousand. Woo, it's a lot uh like four thousand to five thousand us dollars that's your salary range depending on how good you are negotiating on top of that you can get benefits like free housing free food and medical aid as well as uh, they can reimburse you a flight round flight like coming and going back to your country that is if you are lucky enough or you have good qualifications that is it for natives then for people with uh, PhDs or maybe masters in linguistic linguistics linguistic whatever that has to do with english language their salary range if you are native non-native your salary range might be from twenty thousand to twenty five thousand which is three thousand to four thousand yes us dollars in general for non-natives whether you are from russia zimbabwe you are from kenya you're from in general salary ranges are fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand it depends with the city it depends with the ability to negotiate it depends with your qualification it depends with your lucky like some people are just lucky they don't have a lot but they're just lucky enough to get they get higher salary that's a good thing higher salary yeah they can get a higher salary but they are also like for non-native recently for non-natives recently the the opportunities are getting lesser and lesser every day even though you have experience or not the opportunities are really getting lesser every day so the salary range are going down some can offer seven thousand to twelve thousand which is 1k to maybe 1.6 or 1.8 k usd in conclusion i'll leave you guys with this the ranges of salaries in China start from 7,000 RMB to 35,000 RMB, depending on the scenarios that I have shared with you. And this is it for today. Goodbye. See you next time. I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate everything that you are doing on my channel. Goodbye for now.